Hi, thanks for watching today. This is Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. And today we're going to talk about the mineral selenium or selenium. Same mineral, just depending on wherever you look at the pronunciation. Uh, very common that people go both ways between them. So I'm going to refer to it as selenium. And I do talk about this in other videos related to kidney health. And what I'm going to reference here and why it's really important to take this mineral is that another study showing the value of it. So the Journal of Renal Nutrition, November 30th, 2020, it was published. They looked at all-cause all mortality in end-stage kidney disease. So people that had kidney failure, renal failure, and who had, the, who had low selenium levels also died the soonest. Okay? They died the quickest from any cause of death. And one of the reasons is that selenium is a powerful antioxidant, so it helps reverse cell damage, helps, helps the kidney cells, and it helps cell damage throughout your body. And with kidney disease, there's a good chance that it's usually low and it usually needs to be supplemented. So we have a few different ways to correct this. And the reason I'm uh, making this video is because if you have kidney disease, you should take this mineral. A few different ways to take it. Generally, I recommend a multivitamin for people and a good multivitamin will have some selenium in it and even a small amount, it doesn't need to be a large amount, does help restore the selenium levels back to normal. And you don't even have to worry if you go a little bit high with your selenium levels, it's still okay. Because according to that research, people that had normal and even high selenium levels, okay, they had that protection and they didn't die sooner as opposed to the people who had the low level. So even if you go a little bit high, you don't have to worry. Um, you only know that if you got blood tested and it's really hard to get a selenium blood test from a doctor. It's something that you might have to go to like a functional alternative doctor. You can buy blood tests online or you can really uh, maybe push your doctor to do it, but generally you're not gonna get tested for that. And if you do get tested for any nutrients, I uh, generally recommend staying off of any of those nutrients for like four to five days before your blood test so that you can get an accurate reading because you'll have a lot of those nutrients circulating in your blood and if you just take vitamins as a higher amount, you could get a false reading possibly. So you can get the selenium in a multivitamin, okay? You can buy it separately. I generally don't recommend that, even though it's completely fine. It's just because when you get the multivitamin, you get a lot of other good nutrients that are gonna help your body and your kidney. But regardless, if you don't wanna take a multi, you can buy a selenium pill separately. They range from anywhere from 25 micrograms, so it's MCGs, all the way up to uh, 200 micrograms. I don't recommend going above 200. I think a nice dose, if you're gonna buy it separately for kidney disease, anywhere around 50, 100 micrograms. I like 100, okay? Um, you can't raise levels um, getting low doses, so don't look at any really low dose pills that are like 10, 15, 20, which I know it's, it could be even hard to find those, but at least get 25 to 50, I like 100. Now, another way you can raise selenium levels, and we have a blog on our website, is by eating a little bit of Brazil nuts. And the study that they did looked at hemodialysis patients and low selenium and how they brought it up and they gave them one Brazil nut a day. So Brazil nuts are high in selenium. Now you don't absorb all the selenium in there. So every once in a while I get someone goes, well, one Brazil nut is, is almost like the recommended daily amount that you should have. Can I go toxic? No, you're not gonna go toxic. You don't ever turn on the news or um, read stories online about people going toxic from eating Brazil nuts, okay? It's, it's not gonna happen. So don't worry about that, but what the study showed to people at hemodialysis was taking one Brazil nut a day uh, raised the levels over the course of months. So it did take like three to six months to raise the level, but you know, that's okay. Um, all they ate was one Brazil nut a day. So if you add like two or three, you would get more selenium and the two or three can fit into any type of kidney diet. So those are three options you can do to help raise your selenium levels, okay? But I really recommend taking it in some form because it has so many kidney benefits. And if you're tired of taking pills, try the Brazil nuts, okay? You can get that food in your diet and you only need like two or three a day. Thanks for watching everybody. Check out our channel from one kidney uh, disease sufferer to another to your best kidney health. Bye everybody.